Hi guys, uh, we are on the, we're going to start phenol, but before I start phenol, I made some mistake again, sorry about that. Now this question here on the addition of hydrogen. Now here they say, they ask it for how many possible optical isomers. Now this, the one I put down here is not optical isomers. It's right here. Okay, so this is wrong here. So it, may, it must be for here, which is this, why is not working? Okay, again, this part here. Okay, this part here, you can see here, right? This part here, which means I'm going to draw here, right? One will be, of course, you know, this here would be, if I were to rub it off, okay, here rub off and here rub off. Here will be your CH, uh, well, CH, uh, C here, to write, to write for copy. C, why is not working again? C3H7, and this is your OH here, okay? So this is where I made a mistake. Of course, here should be uh, C3H7, and this is your OH. Otherwise, it cannot be optical isomers there because these two carbons here are what? Are chiral, okay? So that's the main thing. Now, of course, in the marking scheme, you can, uh, where I make a mistake, is this one No. No. This one here. Okay, here. Right? So uh, here is okay. Right here, you can see that uh, this is correct there. Remember this one here? Okay, and this one here. So this carbon and this carbon are both chiral, so it's okay. Right? Now remember, I don't know whether I made myself clear, because in all cis trans or in all stereoisomerism, okay, which is the cis trans and optical, Right, now this is a formula to find a number of isomers for molecules having uh, cis trans and optical. Cis trans means uh, how many double bonds are there. If there's one double bond, n goes to one, right? n goes to one, that means there's two, this is a trans in, right? If there's optical, there's, if there's one, n goes to one, if there's only one color carbon, all right? That means that it will be two isomers between the positive and negative, is it? The mirror images, okay? So, like, so in this case here, there are no double bonds, right? No double bonds, but this, 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 this single bond here, because of the rotation of this ring here, cannot, uh, cannot rotate, so they are fixed in space. So the possibles are, in this case here, all right? The two hydrogens here on top here will be your trans, and down here, the hydrogen up and down is called the trans, the cis, sorry, cis. Okay, cis up, the same one here. Okay, so that's why right here, right? So this is cis, it's a trans. So all together, four optical isomers, one, two, three, four. Okay, all right, now that's clear. Okay, now the other thing I probably, I, uh, I not, I'm not happy what I said was, was here. Uh, I want to go back to the uh, well, the reactions of the independent reactions of your substitute group 22. Okay, now here you can see if there are di substituted groups, okay, let me say the two, CH3, CH3, they will act, like I say here, they act independently, okay, now, okay, of each other, of each other, which means if you put a chemical 4 as an heat, they both will undergo the same reaction here to give you your carboxy acid here, okay? Uh, if they are different, like here, uh, your CH3 group here, and an NH, NO2 group, a nitro group here. So if you use your uh, S, uh, acidified chemical 4 and heat, this fellow here will undergo oxidation, but that nothing happened to your, nit your nitro group here. Ah, now this one I want to talk about here. Just uh, this is of course later that like you will see more. But to do some questions, you need to know this one here. 
Now your nitro group, your, your NO2 group here, right, this group here, can be reduced, and this reduction, uh, reduction, reduction, okay, right? So tin, special for NO2 in the ring, tin and concentrated, HCl can hit the zone. But sometimes they put dilute, but concentration is concentrated HCl is the more frequently uh, used marking scheme and in the books, okay, these two, rather than dilute. Now this will able to reduce, means remove the oxygen to give you your um, NH2. This is very common, which you see later, it's called endolin. This whole part is called endolin, okay? Right, now this is as far as I'll go and we have finished. We have finished, my dear friends, we have finished everything on Aries already, right? Okay, now we're gonna to go to now for phenol. It's a new, um, a new topic here, page 58. Okay, phenol. Phenol, as you can see, the OH here, if you look at it, um, now this is phenol, okay? This is phenol, right? Got the OH here, okay? Of course, it looks, is uh, aromatic alcohol, okay? Now, remember the normal alcohol is ROH. It's not. R uh, will be aliphatic, like for example, CH3. I'm going to draw up the uh, whole thing here. Okay, now this is your normal alcohol, right? So where this is the OH group here. Remember we, when we uh, study your AS, the reaction of this is because this is delta negative, then the positive is partial charge because of the higher electronegativity of your oxygen. It's not. So now remember this is also delta positive here. So for, for your alcohol, there are two reactions here. If, if the bond, if your OH breaks here, it will act as acid. If the bond breaks here, which means something is going to go into the carbon, right? The whole thing come out here. That means the OH will come out. This is called what? Nucleophilic substitution. Okay? Substitution. That means when the OH comes out. Okay? A, a simple action, of course, you use the HCl concentrated. Okay? Not the little one, huh? right? You get, of course, your CH3, CH2, and Cl, plus of course, your H2O here, okay? So now this is when the OH bond break, uh, CO bond break. Okay, now here you find a different uh, scenario. Now, uh, I just want to uh, talk about the preparation first. Now, now we've seen uh, yesterday or whatever, right? That this fellow, the chlorobenzene here, the bond here is very strong, is it? Remember I told you before, right? I'm going to put down here. Uh, draw for you. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up first. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to use here. Okay. Now remember, we said that this, where is the, okay. I told you before. Okay, let's draw the benzene ring here. Now the C here, that bonded to your CL here is very strong. Actually, it's one and a half times stronger than the normal CCL bond because of the overlapping of the what? Of the P, you remember up here? Overlap with the pi electron cloud here. Okay, overlaps here. I won't go through it again. Now, some of you ask me, uh, it's good that you, you got problems, you, you text me uh, you know, through, through Google Mail. Remember now, uh, now this CL, uh, okay? Now remember this chlorine here is electronegative. That means that it will pull. In. Ah, one more thing I forgot. Inductive effect. I just remembered. Let's go to that one first, okay? Inductive effect. I should talk more about it. All right. Don't worry. It, it's not rocket science. Okay. Let's see where is it now. Uh? I, I see. I forgot to talk about it. Ah, here. Remember orientation groups are now here. This thing called inductive effect. Now this term is used, uh, guys. This term is used. Inductive effect. You can see later. 
right? I. So now this is the whole range. That means uh, whether they will uh, attract, withdraw electrons. Of course, this is this will be withdrawing electrons. Okay. Or electronegative. Uh. This one is of course donating electrons. Hydrogen is taken to be the neutral part, that means the zero effect, okay? Right? So any R groups here, they are all electrons, that means that they will release electrons, okay? They will give electrons, okay? That's why, uh, you know, if, if you have an electron donating group here, for example, okay? Now, uh, no, like all this here, you have got to see here, okay? Right here, right? Now, uh, this, if, now we look at your phenol later, these two are very important. Now these two here, is, the problem is that they are electron withdrawing. See here? Right? Chlorine. Chlorine here is chlorine and all these of course, all these are group 7. Why not? But because of the fact that they, the electrons here, right? Uh, I'm going to draw it again here. Okay, just to make the point clear, as some of you ask me. Okay, CL here. Okay, remember this is the benzene ring, the pi electron cloud here. Okay, we drop the drop here so that you so you know make it looks better. Lah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna draw a bit bigger here. Okay, even though this is electron withdrawing, right? But because electrons here overlaps here. So electrons also pull inside here, okay? So, uh, well, now remember, when electrons are donating the group here, hold on, that means the, the, uh, the, the two and the four position, four position are activated. I, mean, I won't go into that why, okay, can read up yourself if you want to. Right? I'll go to outro and the para position. That's why you can say uh, chlorine, bromine, and iodine all will be outro and para. Okay, for the second one to come in, the second group to come in, right? Right, you can see from here as well, the, uh, not this one, huh? this one here, not this one here, not this one here, uh, where, okay, here, yeah. Okay, remember now, okay, see now, chlorine. I, uh, okay, chlorine. All right, so it is group two and group four position, right? So even though uh, it is what we say, uh, electron withdrawing group, don't care first, okay? Now there, that means, uh, that means the point is normally electron donating group, uh, it will increase, increase the electron density. So how does this uh, explain about electro, electro, electrophilic substitution? Okay, now remember this one here, there are two things to consider. First of course is the position, which means the orientation, 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 okay? And secondly, the rate, ah, I'll explain a bit, is it? Let me see. The orientation is of course two and four, but the rate, because it's supposed to donate electrons here, but it's putting those electrons here, will the rate be, uh, will, will, will the donating or the withdrawing effect, which one is more? I told you before that uh, they did a study on it and they found from experiment, the rate consider, all right? I think it's here. Let me see a picture, I got it down here. Chlorine, the rate, okay, rate. Uh, 13, up here I think. Ah yes, remember now. Now you consider the relative rate of benzene. This benzene, AR here means C6H5, right guys? So it's a H here is your benzene. And then here's now, one and 0 0.02. That means chlorine reduces, reduces the what? The rate, and it's lower. That means that they actually withdraw the trans. But they will activate or they will direct it to two and four. While others, if there's only withdrawing effect, you will direct it to, to, uh, to three. It's a meta-directing group. 
right here. See? Position three. Okay, all these are electron withdrawing groups, you know. NO2, CN, this one later lah, we'll talk about it. Okay, now. Okay? So that's I want to make clear. Okay, now with that is clear, then we can move on to now phenol, okay? Phenol with page, okay, 58 again. All right, 58, huh? Okay. Okay? Now, this, uh, this, C Cl bond is strong, yes, no doubt. But you can still kick it out if you uh, put extreme conditions. For example, here normally we use uh, NaOH, yeah, it's a bit, that means they use a bit more concentrated. And heat it to 300 degrees centigrade, okay? You can still make the bond. However strong a bond is, it can still be broken, provided you heat higher, high temperature to break the bond, okay? It's an it's a endothermic reaction, okay? So you get your phenol here, right? So this phenol, don't worry, uh, it's not in the syllabus, but I just want to show you that it can be done. So if it comes out, you don't have to be fearful, say, so, oh, you didn't teach me that, and blah, blah, blah. Now the other one, of course, you can also uh, make phenol, we've done this before, okay? Cumin, uh, this is cumin, uh. this whole thing is cumin. It came up before once, I think. Um, okay, now how do you make this from benzene? Very simple, there are two ways. I'm going to draw here, okay? Okay, cumin. Okay, now I, I want to make this here from, of course the simple one to make it is from your, uh, you know, electrophilic substitution. Remember, this is the R group, yeah? Okay, so, and of course you, uh, this the carbon here, the carbon here. Okay, the carbon here must be positive to attack the ring, isn't it? So of course you need this one here. You need your alcohol right here. CH3 here, and of course your H here, and a Cl here, it's not. Plus of course your Fe Cl3, and plus put heat like here faster now, okay? Right? So in, in fact here you, you, you get your what? Your intermediate, make sure I know the number of carbons correct, I did it, I went wrong, huh? Positive here, and of course it will attack the ring to come inside here, right? Okay? But the other way, of course, in this case here, this reaction is electrophilic substitution. They will ask you what? Electrophilic, what? Substitution. Now, you can also use a alkene, right? This is alkene halide. Halide. You can also use an alkene, okay? An alkene here. Right, number C, double bond. Okay? All right? C. Okay, here's your H, and here's your CH3. And here's your H, and your H. Okay? So, in this case here, right, if you were to, how can I create a post, uh, a, a, a carbon ion? You can't say it, right? In, in fact, this case, you plus plus H2. Right, and your, uh, your your zinc, or your nickel, and you heat, must heat huh? You of course get the same thing there, eh? right? Now the hydrogen will go to here, and you get the same thing here. H will go to here. You get what? Your C C, right? This one, the the the, the more carb, the more hydrogen here. Makarnikov rule with the hydrogen here, all right? And get H here, and of course the CH three here. And a positive sign here, and so this will, this can uh, can go. The ring can also attack it. Okay, positive here. Of course, this this mechanism, this reaction is what electrophilic what addition. Okay, now this is by the way. Okay, no no rocket science. Okay, now this is. This one here is a peroxide, this one here. Okay, it's called peroxide, why? Because it's O, O, and H now. Now this one here, when you put water inside here, right? Put water and acidify here, it will break up. This, this part here, I'm gonna put blue ink. Uh. Blue ink, okay. Blue ink here. Now remember this part here, this part here will come out, will come out as a peroxide, okay? Come up as a peroxide here, right? 
So here you, uh, when you go inside here, the water, H, right? Okay, the OH here will enter the ring here to form your uh, phenol. Okay, either the oxygen from here will form the double bond here, and of course the OH here plus here to give you your hydrogen peroxide. Okay, plus H2O2. Okay, right? Okay, okay. Doesn't matter. Now this, this is this, 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 this chemical process is very common in the industry because it can form two products. It can form your phenol. It can form your ethanol, uh, acetone, which is your propanol. Okay. So now that's as much as we go lah. Now for reactions of phenol, remember they actually uh, ask you for it. Now you look at it carefully here. They ask you for a few reactions. Okay. One, two, three. Four, five. This is quite quite simple. Um, this part here, nitration and bromination of the aromatic ring. This 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 what this is basically what electrophilic. What substitution? Is that okay? Right now, this one here, I won't talk about this one first. Because this one here, you need to talk about it in terms of with aniline or phenol amine. So here. Okay, later. I won't teach that first. I can't teach that. Now uh, this two. Ah, uh, this two here. It talks about uh, phenol as an acid. Now I'm going to talk about it now. Okay, now this two. You see, phenol, I'm going to put up here. Okay, phenol. Okay, now this is the whole picture. This phenol. Cannot. Okay, Cannot. Okay, I'll put down here a bit. Okay, this phenol. Okay, with the ring here. Overall, spider diagram, whatever you're going to call it. Okay, now there are two, basically, well, three reactions. First of all, Remember, the, remember in alcohols, uh, in all alcohols, for example, uh, let's draw the simple one first, okay? In ethanol. All right. I told you just now, this bond and this bond here, they are able to break because oxygen is very electronegative. So delta negative here, delta positive here, and carbon here is what? Delta positive. So if this bond breaks, that means uh, the H will come out as what? As a H plus. So a donor proton, that means that uh, it acts as what? As it is not. But if the OH comes out, I'm going to put a different color so that you can distinguish it. If the OH comes out, if this bond breaks, okay, that means something must be attacking the delta positive carbon here. Okay? So what is it? Remember in normal, uh, in AS, you can all the reactions that it can happen of course the HCl concentrated or gas okay, cannot cannot be equal to a concentrated okay that means the Cl go inside here but, or is it's, it's a Cl delta negative go inside here they will kick out the OH you know? so now this of course you form what is from CH3 CH2 and the Cl now this what this this is this uh in this reaction here right is called nucleophilic substitution. So there are two reactions here. Up here, here. Nucleophilic what? Substitution. Okay? So either this bond break, number one, right? That means it acts as an acid. X as an acid. Very important, they will ask you one. Okay? That means you H plus. Right? Now two reactions, uh, X as acid, two reactions here. Okay, two reactions. One, of course, uh, of course, a base, uh, you use sodium, ah, uh, sodium metal, solid. Remember, all acids but sodium metal give you what? We have the sodium salt, which is, of course, in this case, this is the sodium salt. I'm going to draw the O at, at the side here. O, they always put negative dot, and of course, an A plus. You got salt, plus, of course, a hydrogen gas. Uh, they ask you for bubbles, okay? This is gas, bubbles, okay? You must say bubbles after you can see that. The question actually asks for bubbles, okay? The salt is here. 
Here, of course, in this case here, it will it will uh, it will act as a uh, well with the with uh, with us with the uh, alkali. Sorry, alkali. It will dissolve. Now, remember, this is a solid, not very soluble water. It will be soluble water if you heat it. Okay, Phen phenol is only is soluble. It's a solid. Okay. It's sparingly soluble, but it will be only soluble when heated with water, when heated with water. Okay, so normally it's not soluble. So in any way aqueous, it will be it will, it will be soluble. It's soluble. There's a question on it, quite soluble, and from what? From the same thing, from the salt. Okay? O minus Na plus and what and water. Okay, which is actually neutralization. Okay, this is so these two reactions here, they will not react with sodium carbonate to give you carbon dioxide. Cannot. Okay, later you see later. Now, of course, this is the side chain reaction. Okay, side chain reaction. Okay, side chain reaction. Side chain reaction. Now then, of course, that now remember this one cannot break, uh, but bole cannot break because it's very strong. Remember that, right? This one is strong. Cannot break. I told you before, I'm going to draw down here. Remember, this, uh, uh, I won't draw here. I'll show you here. Uh, there is a diagram here, easier for me. Lah. Okay, you can see now here. Now, this is not the best diagram. I couldn't find one in the net last time. Okay, now, of course, in this case here, this is your oxygen here. And there's, uh, well, don't have this one here, okay? Just a O here, uh, H here, okay, right? Double A, double A, don't ever, okay. So remember, now this is the oxygen, right? This is the electron, two electrons here, okay? Now this, the, this is the pi electron cloud. So so remember, this filler here, even oxygen is very, very uh, more different, okay? it pulls it, but because of this overlapping, you know, overlapping. Ah, that means uh, just like chlorine, electrons can go inside here. Okay? Go inside here. Alright? The electron, the electron pair in P orbital. Okay? Delocalize. Ah, this good word, delocalize into where? Into the pi electron cloud. Ah, what happened? Oh, sorry, cloud, not cloudy. Yeah. Cloud. Therefore, number one, increases the electron density of the ring, benzene ring. Therefore, what happens? Therefore, position. Ah, if anything coming inside here, it will be two and four, you know, right? Position activated. We call this activated. Secondly, number two, it will increase the reactivity. Very important. Reactivity. This is very important now. Right? For what reaction? For electrophilic. Yeah, electrophilic substitution. Okay, now remember this. Come out in exams is they'll ask you phenol reaction with Br2 and nitration. Remember? Okay, for Br2 and nitration there, you normally to see for for for, for, for phenol, sorry, for benzene to red Br2. You cannot put aqueous, aqueous get salad. Wrong. You must say Br2 and what? And your Fe Br three, you know. but for but for phenol, you can you yeah, you must. Okay, for phenol in this case here, all you need to do is put Br two aqueous, because uh, this ring, right? The ring is activated by by the electrons here going inside. You know, okay, so you can use so don't you don't need a Fe Fe Br three don't need anymore. Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, and also. If if you if you are uh, undergo nitration, you know, uh, use corn H H N O tracing, you know, concentrated. Ah, 
and concentrated what? H2O4, isn't it? Not? And temperature of what? 55, isn't it? Not? Yeah. But if you put phenol, no need to, nit to nitrate it to form this fellow here. Okay, let's put here NO2 here. All you need is dilute, very important. Dilute HNO3, very important. And room temperature, room temperature and pressure. I, okay, I'm gonna show you first, okay, since we are on this, I might as well show you. How important is it for the conditions? Okay, let's look at first page is 80. Actually, the, 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 what the exam, exam questions are, okay? After all, this is what you want to do, then to do well, then why not? Huh? Are you page 80? Is it 80? Yeah, 80. Okay, now here, you see that? Okay, now don't be frightened by this. Now, this is two ring, don't be frightened, okay? Don't care. All right, suggest reagents and conditions for converting one nephron. Now, this uh, one nephron is this one here, all right? Now this is one nephron, see? That? Okay, that means. This is basically a phenol, a phenol. Here, yeah, see a phenol. Okay, right? Converting this fellow here to what? To, ah, two reactions now. That means here, if I were to draw uh, uh, one nephthol, I say all, uh, uh, that, means, uh, that means it's an OH. Right okay, I'm going to draw here just in case you are not very familiar with this one here. Okay, this one here. I want to introduce two bromines here. Two, that's not two, no. Right? And I want to introduce, in this case, this one to here, this one to here. I want to choose the NO2. Normally, right? You need, you need normally, you need what? You need BR2. Cannot put equals, huh? Huh? Idiots. And what? And FE, BR3 as a halogen carrier. So here, you need a concentrated what? Concentrated HNO3 and what? And concentrated, which is falling, you know, and a temperature of what? 55. Yes, sir. Now, I show you the, uh, the marking scheme, okay? Now, this is 07 November, this is the one here. It's all prepared for you, see? All right, see now. Okay, part B. BR2 equals, see now, no FE, there's no. Uh, yeah. Okay. Every time I spoke that. There's no. Fe we are three. See that? Don't have. Say you equals here. Last time, if you don't put, you put equals get salah. See, you get wrong if you do for a uh, nuclear phase substitution. Now, now here, see that? Dilute or equals see that? no. Don't have H2SO4 concentrated. Don't have temperature of 55. Uh, don't have. That means a room temperature RTP. See that? Very important. So. Put a note down, okay? That's why I say when you study, you must study the past questions marking scheme. Because books will not tell you sometimes. Hopefully your book will tell you. But I will tell you, you don't listen to your, your fault. Lah. Now the other question, of course, are uh, very clear. Okay, I'll show you two more questions, okay, which very clear. All right, uh, 308, quite at the end. 308, very important, huh? Okay, 309, this is the same thing. Now, do you see? Uh, we won't talk at one uh, blah, blah, blah here. Now, the, now step three, right now. Again, huh? Now, of course, step three here, remember, now this is your phenol. Yeah, step three, I want to introduce uh, NO2 inside. What kind of reaction is this? Remember, say out to yourself. Ah, you get right or wrong. Cool. Electro. Feeling what? Substitution, okay, now. which means normally use concentrated HNO3 and corn HNO4 and temperature. Now, listen, step three here. So, the answer for C now, suggest blah blah blah, suggest regions and conditions for three steps. That means a step three here, right? Okay, step three here. Okay, All right now, what's the answer? Uh, 11 November, 11 November, 11 November, here. Step three, see now, okay. Reagent, do you see that? Uh, cannot. I need to. I see. Okay, nitric acid. See now, very important. You must know reagent or reagents. Okay, and what conditions are? Huh? Dilute. 
See now, not concentrated, they blacken it. Is that clear? Get it to your brains whenever OH2, actually you can see uh, now, we got this one here. Whenever phenol, okay, or later you'll see, same also with this one here, your phenolamine, nitrogen. Same, because nitrogen here, right, there's a lone pair here now. Again, with the, with the ring on top here and the ring at the bottom here, this is the P orbital, they will overlap, isn't it? So this fellow here, phenylamine, right, will also activate the ring. And also, same thing, if you want a nitrate here, NO2 here, you use dilute nitric acid. Same thing for, you want to chlorinate, brominate, you just use Br2 or Cl2 aqueous. Is that clear? I won't go to the other one now. Okay, I can give you the answer later. I mean the question later. Right? Okay, so now this is the one here. So remember, reagent culture is very important. They give you the mark, okay? My dear friends, now, uh, right? So now I'm gonna go back to your phenol. I just remember I, I got the questions for you. Wait, I just go to phenol first, okay? Before I forget all these things. Huh? I'm looking at time so I don't surpass my time. Okay, right? So now here we can say that, well, in the reactions here, 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 right as an acid, there's an OH will break. Now, when OH comes out, the whole thing, uh, OH won't come out, okay, now, because the bond is very strong. Now, if the, if the reaction is on the ring, ah, we said that OH here, because the overlapping of the lone electron pair with the ring here, they will activate, activate the ring towards what? Towards electrophilic what? What? Substitution. Okay. So remember, two of them they ask you is of course bromination, which we said before. You put aqueous, uh, my dear friends. You get of course. Remember, always will go to which? Uh, uh, okay, I wrap up the thing first. Uh. Introduce this again. This is fantastic. Uh, activate. Okay. Now it will give you two and four position. Remember. Okay. Sometimes you put you can put two be out here and be out two also, or one of them enough. Sometimes go three position also can. Okay. But in fact, this one is very common. Okay. This is your white PPT. You can see later as a test for 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 phenol. The other one, of course, is nitration. Ah, HNO3, what? Conditions, room temperature and aqueous. Remember this, very important. Here's so aqueous, huh? you get, of course, your nitrophenol. Okay, same, two and four. We put a uh, four here, lah, okay? Okay, very important, this one here. So these are the main reactions. Okay, of course, now. Uh, one more they say is for azo dye. Now, we'll talk about it first, okay? It's called azo dye formation. Azo dye, okay? we talk about later when you do your like, uh, your phenylamine, okay? Which means this one here. NH2. Okay, now this is the overall picture of your phenol. Now, let's go to specifically, all right? The reactions, all right? Now, you can see here. Now, uh, before this, now we will uh, we will go into all these things here later, okay, on the reactions here. But I want to explain the idea of as an acid. Because here, now this part here acts as an acid, is it? Right? Okay? Right? That means the OH bond breaks. This bond breaks. Okay? Right? Now, they will ask you this part here. See now. Describe and explain. Now, describe that you need to know why, you know, okay, how it happens, why. Relative acidities of water and phenol and ethanol. I want to add one more. They will also ask you for your benzoic acid. Ah, for this one here. You can see later, they are very tricky. Okay, this one here. 
all they can ask you for a CH3, right? See this one here. Does that matter? Same, same, same. Okay, they're, they're, they're both same. Okay, now we talk we about acid first, okay? All right, acidity. Finish already. Now you can see here, okay, I put down here in your notes this thing here, acidity. Okay? Uh, and the OH here, because remember the OH don't come out, only the O and the H breaks here, okay? And the ring. Now here you can see I, I put down here three, four. Okay, you compare the acidity. They always use pKa. You will learn this in your A2 for physical chemistry. pKa, P means the, the, the P here, it actually means minus log base 10. That's all. Okay, like pH, you know, okay, same thing. Okay, pH here. pH. If pH, it means minus log base 10 concentration of H plus, that's all. That means uh, talk about acidity. Okay, so it's minus log base. Don't care about it, but of course, the key is here the value is important. The lower the value, the lower the value, the lower the value, more acidic. Ah, this is the main thing you talk about. And why is it more acidic? Ah, talk about that. Okay, remember, remember, all right, when you compare all these fellas here, phenol, methanol. Okay, this is the aliphatic alcohol, okay? And your uh, benzoic acid, remember the benzoic acid, this is a cause of this one. Okay, and the C double bond O, and of course your OH here. Picric acid, this is a very strong acid, see 1.42, very small means very strong. This is of course, if you want to draw it here, it has, it has uh, OH here, ah, ah, no, no, and three nitro groups here. Okay, this is actually, uh, you know, it's a, it is a, a, a explosive, you know, uh, you know, you, they put this into, the pop, 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 no, you, new year, you bang on the floor, you start on it, it will explode. Okay, so nitrophenol. Okay, so, uh, see, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a phenol. But it's very acidic, why? Because aided by these three buggers here, three buggers here, which withdraw electrons, you know. So it will make this bond very weak. Okay, now, first of all, they ask you to compare, okay? Very simply, why this tree? Why uh, benzoic acid is the strongest, followed by uh, phenol, followed by uh, methanol? Of course, in your syllabus, they ask you to compare with water as well. Okay, so, okay water. Okay, water as well, okay? Of course, uh, uh, you know, where is water? Water is between here. La. It's water. Okay. Right? I don't know the exit value for PK. You can find out itself. Okay. Right? Okay. Minus 14 and whatever. So I think it should be 14. Okay. Because K is 14, is it? So it should be 14. I think so it's 14. Go and check it out. Zero, zero. All right. Now, now we done this before in your in your AS when you compare uh, ethanol acid with your alcohols. Remember? Now, okay. All right. Now this one here. If you remember, uh, in your AS, okay, I can I can write the AS one here. If you don't remember, I can re review it for you. Okay. All right, so in water equals, uh, guys, is equals, is equals. Uh, why? Because you, you could talk about acid using Arrhenius theory. It's a proton uh, donated in the presence of water. Of course, you get this right here. All right, just to refresh your memory, some of your bloody old cows, I'll tell you. Okay, remember when you compare acidity between methanol and you can also do uh, ethanol, like, because ethanol would be easier, plus two carbons, okay? Let's say, okay, ethanol, like. if you're so fussy about it, okay, two carbons, two carbons here, you will, of course get your 
C to H5 here and your O minus here plus your H plus. That's all. Okay. So when you compare this, your ethanol with your ethanol acid here on acidity wise, and of course you compare with water as well. Okay. Water can also give you this one here. I use the OH minus minus here plus H plus here. Okay. Now in acidity, when you compare these three fillers here, you always say they must start, uh, something, something must be common, it's not. Okay, one molar solution, it means okay, it's one more, one molar so one more in one decade of water, one molar. And this water is okay, no, don't worry, the one molar, okay, all same, same, same. So, same concentration to begin with. So, which one will, will give you the highest concentration of, S, of H plus? The highest here, all right. So, which one would be the highest concentration of H plus for the same molarity? Yes, or okay. So it all depends on which one, which uh, the, the first of all, you can talk about the the bond strength. Okay, I'm going to use different colors. Ah, huh? so they make it okay. Blue, I like these two colors. The bond strength in here. Okay, the bond strength here. The bond strength here. Now, how strong the bond is here depends on the electron density here. Or, or we use the word, uh, which one is more distorted? Remember, uh, use the word distorted, it's not distortion. Distorted. Okay? Right? Distorted. Right? Uh, now, we, we, we know, see, all this is as I said, all is oxygen. Oxygen. Oxygen, oxygen of course, is, is electron negative, isn't it? So it means that if you delta negative here already, delta positive here. Just, just don't care about that. Don't care about this group here. Okay. So it's delta negative, delta positive here. So it, it, it's, it's already, it's already distorted already. But then now there's this group here. Remember the R group here. Ah, R group here. What R group here is electron donating. Okay, it's electron donating. R group here, the LQ group here, the C H three. CHH here is what? Electron donating. Electron donating. That's enough. That means it will cut down, it will be less, here will be less distorted. Less distorted. Less distorted, less distorted means what? Ah, more stable. Uh, ORT. Now this carbonyl, ah, is electron withdrawing. Okay? The carbonyl. I'm going to put down here. The carbonyl group has electron. Oh, that's all you need to do, say in the exam. Electron withdrawing. Electron withdrawing. That's all they you need to say. Therefore, it will distort uh, uh, more distorted. The OH here. More distorted. Okay? Therefore, weaker. Weaker means what? Huh? Is it break, is it? Ah. You can break easier, that means it's a stronger acid than your, your ethanol. This, old, this H here is neutral, remember not, in fact it's neutral, isn't it? Ah, so it will be neutral, it has no effect, that means it's between here. So you get your, the most, the, the, the one, this is number one, the most acidic. Right, number two is water. Number three is your ethanol. That's not, okay. Now, you can talk about so the acidity for acidity, I'm gonna move up here a bit there because no 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 place. For acidity, the argument is number one, right? The strength, the bond strength, okay? The the, the, the strength, the bond strength, or the amount of distortion. Now, second one, of course, you also know that because it's an equilibrium, you, need, you can talk about what? The, this one here. Ah, the stability. Remember not, we did before, I said, the stability, all right? And this here and here, stability of the anion, you know? Okay, right? This one here. Okay, this one here. I put down stability of the anion. Stability of an ion. Okay, this negative charge. Huh? Now this, ne this negative here. Okay, 
Remember, if the negative negative charge here is dispersed or dikurangkan or lessened, that means it's more stable. But this fella here, all right? This fella here, okay? Is electron donating? Ah, that means it will destabilize them. It's more negative there. But this fella here, the C point here, what is what? Is electron withdrawing? Is it? Ah, that means this is more stable. Is it? So it's more stable. More stable. An ion. Right? Okay. Right? Because why? Because the C double one O is what? Electron withdrawing. This is your A S N. Okay? Now this two, it came out. Let me show you uh well just to refresh your memory now, okay? Uh how it come out in your AS. Uh let me see. Uh, I got it down here. I say, now I look for it. Uh, hold on a minute. Okay. SCP. Okay, one, two, four. One, two, four. I got it here as well. One, two, four. Okay, now I can see now. All right. So here we consider PK value of CVD before. So the smaller is it, the more, uh, more. Acidic. This can explain the trend of acid strength from one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. That means this is the most acid, is it? most acid, most acidic. This is the least acidic, lah. not acid, most acidic. Now, why? You can see the, the, the argument, okay, here, the argument here. It's zero, zero 07 November, zero 07 November, zero 07 November, zero 07 November. Okay, here. Ah, see now. I can read here. Acid strength increases from one to three, calling it or down the book. Okay? All right? Okay. Now, there are two arguments here. Because here, of course, uh, because you, the CL, CL, CL withdraw electrons. Let, let's see this again, okay? So here, of course, is you see, remember now, okay? Uh, the CL here. Right, the cell withdraw electrons. Cell, there are two, like, two, two cell here. So we draw more electrons. That means the OH bond here is weakened, is it? So the argument here is you can use the one. Okay, electron withdrawing effect of growing one mark. All right. Now, now, so here the second part, yeah, you, you either use weakening, weakening. Uh, sorry. Okay, number one, weakening of the OH bond. Now, okay. Now, it means the OH, OH there, we draw electrons here because of the CL here. Uh, this one is weakening, uh, yeah? Weakening of the OH one because of the chlorine here. Okay, right? Okay, or you can talk about stabilizing of the anion. Uh, that's all. Uh, ah, okay, stabilizing of the anion. It means if you stabilize, okay, now let's go, let's go back to our origin, uh, which is a uh, page. 50 something, 59 or whatever. Okay, here. Here. Remember? This filler here, more stable. Right now. That means if it's more stable, that means the equilibrium position will shift, right? Shift forward, right? right? So it's less stable. So it won't shift forward too much. They are, they are, they are, they are, they are reversible. So it shift forward more. Because more stable. See now. Okay, so you can use more, more stable an iron. You can use the bond in two ways. I'm going to use a red ball pen again. Two ways to explain acidity. All right, now in this case here for phenol, okay, phenol compared to uh, carboxylic compared to this one, acid compared to water also can. Okay, now let's look at this one first. All right, right now here. This bond, remember your phenol group, right? Phenol group is electron withdrawing, you know. Okay, I can look at the inductive effect, okay? Inductive effect. I say, I didn't look again. I just want to get the page. Oh my God, I say. Fool, I idiot. Yeah. 
inductive effect of okay should be here lah. okay uh, your benzene your phenol ring okay no, this one here ah uh, this is negative that means you will withdraw electrons see not okay so for phenol for phenol if this r this is six h5 here we draw electron here which means if i if i draw this one over here i just simply draw okay no time to explain all this here so much okay oh right will give you of course your uh if it's plus water okay plus water it will give you of course your Say sometimes it's a work. Okay, how is on here? Okay, so it will be like that. Two ways can extend O minus plus your H three. Okay, this this bond here is weaker. Why? Because this group here withdraws withdraws electrons. Yeah. Okay. So the if it withdraws electrons, that means uh, this bond is weakened, right? more distorted. Uh, okay. More distorted. So it's weakened. Weaker means it's like, easier to break, isn't it? Uh, no. So here and this also this one because it's electron withdrawing here, this is more stabilizing. So it will go for it more. Okay. So if you compare this idea of uh uh you know uh. The effect of the R group here. So now, if you have your carboxy acid, carboxy acid, now it's not given here, but you can look in this part here. Okay, see your carboxy acid here. See now. Okay, this is actually electron withdrawing. See now, see now here. The C double bond O. Okay, O here. Now, remember this is, of course, your benzoic acid. Okay, guys. I know. So the bond here compared to this your 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 benzoic acid compared to your your phenol. Okay? Here. Now this group here is electron withdrawing. Okay? Now this group is also electron withdrawing, but now you got some more your your carbonyl group. Ah, this one here. See here. Also electron withdrawing. So this this these two effects here will will, will, will uh, withdraw this withdraw electrons, this one withdraw electrons here. Right, so this got a carbon. Of course, this one here is same, uh, I know. But here, it means this carbon group will withdraw the transient. It means causing one to be what more distorted. This one is distorted, yeah. Compared to water, ah, uh, not much distorted, uh, okay? Ah, uh, because it's neutral, same. I don't know. So this, of course, is the strongest acid. This is the strong acid, or actually it's all weak acid. Uh. This, out, out of all these three, this is the, this is the stronger acid of the weak acid. This is the strong acid of the weak acid. This is the very weak acid. Uh. Okay? This is distorted, but very weak, very weakly distorted. Okay? So you can see, you can use this idea to explain the acidity. Okay, now let's go to 50, 60, la, I think it's somewhere there. All right, so acidity wise, you can see that this one here, right, is uh, stronger than acid, uh, stronger than water, stronger than your alcohol, but weaker than your carboxy acid, la, because this fellow here, this, your carboxy acid, this guy here is a very strong, Electron withdrawing group. Of course, because of this one here, it will also stabilize the anion here. So two ways can explain why uh, it is more acidic than your uh, your phenol, your carboxy acid. But phenol, of course, is a stronger acid than your water. Now let's see how this is being asked in exams. Okay. All right. Now there's one part here. Okay. Describe and explain one. Describe. Okay, 82. I hope this is the one that I... Uh, 
Yeah, 82. Okay. 82. We should end soon. Okay, 82. On SAP. 82. Very good. Okay, 82. Huh? Describe and explain how the acidities of ethanol. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put here on top here, ethanol. Okay. All right, H here, H here, OH here. Okay, now just put this on enough, now, okay? You get CH3, CH here, H here, and of course your O minus plus or H plus. Now. Remember, acid is a what? It's a proton donor, eh? And your phenol, see? Ethanol and phenol compared to water. So water is, okay, I'm going to do phenol here so that you got more space. Uh. Okay, O and H. Of course, this will give you, it's good to put all the equations here. Uh, I will show you the marking scheme. I don't, I don't want to com so confuse you with this thing here. And your water. Okay, so there are three equations here. I put it in order here. All give you H plus, is right? It's all acidic. So compare the acidities. Of course, first thing of uh, four marks or what? Damn good, uh, four marks. Okay, the first one, of course, is describe first. Uh, so which is which more, which more acidic? Huh? Of course, this thing. Uh, okay, phenol in, right? Right, because this is the most distorted of all. Right? Okay? Then of course come water, is it? Oh, no. Then come of course because this is an electron donating group. This is an electron withdrawing group. Right? And this is zero. Right? This is zero here. Oh, no. So of course the stating of this is one mark. Why? Uh, why is three marks no? Okay, which means now compare this further here with water. Why is this one here? Why is your phenol? Why is phenol? I'm going to put blue ink now. Why is phenol more acidic than water? Ah, because of this, you can explain in terms of, I say, the bond strength here, or you can a bond strength here. Uh, okay, you can explain bond strength. Bond strength. Or you can explain what? In stability or what? Of your an iron. Okay, so the bond strength here, the bond strength here is weaker because this is an electron withdrawing group Z. Right? And in this case here, compare this one with this one here. So you compare phenol with water and then ethanol with water. This one here, the bond strength here is stronger because this is the electron donating group. Or here, uh, the anion is less stable. Okay, now let's look at the marking scheme, okay? Talk no point marking scheme. Four marks, yeah. Remember, four marks here. Yeah. Eleven major, eleven major. Okay, here's it. Ah, the first mark is given for acidity. Ethanol, right? See ethanol, ethanol. Okay. Uh, uh, water stronger acidity than here. Now here, okay. Again, it's crazy. You no, know, give you one mark each. Eh? Okay. Uh, uh, phenol stronger than than water. So, so one mark each. One mark each. See, one mark, idiot, one mark, okay, here, sorry, one mark here, and then uh, one mark here, okay, now, second one, why is ethanol, why is ethanol, uh, or why is ethanol weaker, okay, remember now, positive, uh, they use positive, it doesn't affect, they use the word here, of your CH which which means that this right electron, what electron donating. So you you must learn to use the correct words, my friends. Okay, or E ah see here, gives electron. Okay, intensify or increase the electron density or cause less distortion of the OH group. You know, okay, right, okay. Now the other one, of course, they, now here, see, uh, phenol is more acidity. Why? Ah, uh, see, here they use stabilizing of anion. Okay, no, no. So you can use stabilizing or you can use the 
the bond energy, you know, okay, right, making it less basic, less basic. But these are crazy to use, okay, all right, okay, stabilizing it, the the, the anion or the next charge, uh, because if you withdraw electrons, that means uh, less. If this, if the C six H five withdraws electron, that means it will less the, uh, the 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 charge will less. That means it will stabilize it. So, you know, okay. So either way you can use. Okay, you can take a picture of this and explain to yourself later, or you can look at the video again. Okay, now the other question, of course, you can see here. I'll give you another question here. This is page eighty two. Uh. Uh, let me see eighty two. Okay, another question would be, I see. I want to explain. Okay, stabilize. One, one. Okay, one, two, one, I think. Let me check. There's so many questions here. All right. No, no, no. Oh, dear. Not this one. Uh, 288, I think 288. Sorry about this. Okay. All right. Okay, good show here. Now, this you can see here cyclohexanol uh, and phenol are uh, both solids. Uh, solids, uh, okay. Uh, with low melting points and fairly solid in water. Not very, but only fairly, okay. Uh, why? Explain why they are solid and water than the parent hydrocarbon. Of course, you can form hydrogen bonds in. It's too much here, okay? No, we don't care about this, okay? Explain why phenol is more acidic than cyclohexanol. Ah! Remember, this is just a normal secondary cause, you know? Okay? This is your phenol. This is just an R group here. This is R group here. This is just an R group. Okay? Which is, of course, we donate electrons. But this is a... A, 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 a phenol group, a, a, a benzene ring, it will, it will withdraw electrons. See? Now let's see how the markings here. I don't have time already. I must work. 0909. Zero nine, zero nine. Okay. 09. I thought I got here. 09. Ah, here. See, I prepared myself. Okay? Now, why there are more solid water here? Because of hydrogen bond. See now? Okay? Now, why? Why here? The, of course, the answer, you can use two methods, the phenoxide, see here. Uh, okay, sorry, I gotta use this again. Okay, uh, red now, okay. Remember, now the, the, the word phenoxide, phenol, phenoxide, oxide, which means this one, C6H5O minus, now this is called the phenoxide anion. It's more stable, ah, see now, okay. Right? Why is it more stable? Because the electron here uh, due to delocal okay, the charge here enters the ring. Or the lone pair over the ring. You know, that means uh, this this will this uh, this is a better way to say it, okay. The 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 the, the charge here is delocalized in the ring or uh, the CH5 withdraws electrons. You know, okay? Secondly, of course you can use what? The OH bond is weaker, you know. Why? Why? Because the C6H5, right, withdraws electrons, are uh, electron withdrawing group. Electron withdrawing group. Okay, so can use the, the stable, the stable phenoxide ion, or you can use the OH minus, the OH bond is weaker. Either way is one mark. See now. Okay? Okay, why? Because actually they should put the, the C6H5 is a electron withdrawing group. That's why it's weakened the OH bond. That's why it will delocalize the, 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 the charge. That means electrons will go inside here. That means make it more stable. Okay, now, okay? this is a better way to express it. So. Clear? Right now, I have my time is up. So uh, I've so far talked about only uh, uh, the first part here. If you look at the uh, syllabus, okay, the syllabus here, oh, it's jam, why is it jam, okay, we talk about here, basically, I went through, uh, remember, the reactions all this year, we'll go into more detail, right, 
uh, of these reactions here, but I'll, I'll explain in detail the part B already. Okay? Relative acidities. All right? Of water, phenol, and ethanol, and also of your carboxylic acid. So uh, tomorrow or so, I will do another video on uh, going to more detail. We should be finishing phenol uh, by this week. Okay, I plan to work five day week or six day week. Lah. All right, hopefully, you will go into this and go over yourself and reproduce all these things. Okay, because organic chemistry is a lot of memory work. So, okay, so I need to sign off. Okay, here we are and stop recording. Goodbye and uh, take care.